Do they want someone with work experience? If yes, did they ask that sa interview? Do they choose rin physically? Is it okay for an au pair to have part-time job? How's my dating experiences in the Netherlands? Hot issue! Hi friends! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Margie Francisco. If you are new here, hi! For today's video, I will be going to answer the questions that I have received on my YouTube channel. And if this question of yours was already posted many, many months ago, I'm really sorry about that. But now I am here, I will try to answer your questions. And these answers of mine were just based on what I know and what I've also experienced. By the way, thank you so much, friends, for subscribing to my YouTube channel and for always uh, watching my videos because congratulations, I've weave rich 4,000 watch hours and I'm so happy. I'm so thankful about that. So let's start with this au pairing Q&A. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more videos to come. Let's go. First question, how many hours a day or week do you work for? I work uh, 30 hours per week. That's the maximum here in the Netherlands. Next, is it okay if you already have a child but you will not say it? In my agency, it's not allowed, but I've heard from other agencies that it's okay. But uh, just try. If you can make it, then congratulations. But if not, ah, that's that's life. <laughs> but according to the contract of, of au pairs here in the Netherlands, it's prohibited. Next. Why on my a day in the life of an au pair, I did not eat breakfast? I prefer not to eat breakfast during mornings because sometimes I don't have an appetite or maybe I just want to finish first my tasks and then after that, I have enough time to eat and to rest. And another question is, what is my agency here in the Netherlands? If you have already watched my other videos, I have shared this with you that my agency is Happy Au Pair. Next, is it legit that a host family will send you a message? Yes, it is sometimes, but you have to check. And is Great Au Pair website legit? Have you heard of Great Au Pair? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. my friend from other agencies said that great au pair agency is legit. Next, after you sent your documents to the happy au pair agency, how many days you're going to wait for the reply? It depends, but during my time, two to three days. Next, someone is asking if there's an age limit here in the Netherlands for au pairs. Yes, there is. It's 18 to 30 years old. Thank you. Next, what are the things that must be observed or that must be done if you are already in the airport, in Naia Airport in the Philippines? Well, I guess you just need presence of mind and be prayerful <laughs> so that your flight will be safe and sound and always keep your things with you. Maybe you will be too overwhelmed and then you might forget your thing. So that's all. And in immigration, basically, they will just simply ask, what are you going to do in the Netherlands? And those questions were already asked to you in embassy. So if you know yourself, if you know your host family in your agency, then it's easy to answer those questions. Someone is asking, what's my Facebook or Instagram. I have an Instagram, however, I temporarily deactivated my Instagram, but I will be right back very soon. But my Facebook account is Margie Francisco. You can message me if you want, but I don't really reply that fast, but just be patient. How long is it allowed for an au pair to say in the Netherlands? It's just one year. 
Next, uh, yeah, someone appreciated my room tour. Thank you for that. I plan to cross country more easy si Goro Miss Margie. If you are already in the Netherlands and you plan to continue as an au pair in another country, it's easier than you are in the Philippines because you are already in Europe and other families like it if you are already in one of the European countries and yeah so if you want to go to Denmark if you want to go to Iceland it's easier here in Europe than if you are still in the Philippines but as what I've heard from my other friends it's a great stepping stone here in the Netherlands if you want to continue to another country because in the Netherlands you have just good amount of allowance but if you will go to Denmark you will be really amazed with the allowance however it will also be balanced with your responsibilities so your allowance is here and your responsibilities are also here so it's just balance next what is the camera that I'm using for vlogging I'm just using my phone my iphone 7 plus phone and i'm having troubles as well because i only have 32 gigabytes for vlogging but that's fine and i have to sometimes delete applications and photos so i can uh, upload my vlogs but it's okay i really want uh, this vlogging i i enjoy this so much so no worries is it okay for an au pair to have part-time job no it's not allowed because in your resident card it says there you are an au pair and so if someone caught you that you're doing a part-time job uh, you will face the consequences so better not do it next what's the process if you are direct direct like you you know the the host family first before the agency i think it's just the same here in the netherlands if you know the host family first before the agency the process will still be the same it's just that the host family will look for an agency next how did i send money to the philippines i use wise before it was transfer wise world remit and if you want a referral from me <laughs> so you can have 25 uh, euro and I will have 25 euro as well more like that so it's uh, nice if if you have a referral from from someone but if you want mine you can leave a comment or you can message me on uh, Facebook about that I would appreciate that so don't worry about sending money to the Philippines it's easier really it's just easy next how's my dating experiences in the Netherlands well this is really personal but I know you have seen my vlog with my boyfriend here in the Netherlands. Well, it's it's great. It's dating up. <laughs> and but it doesn't work the same way as what I've experienced with my other friends, huh? So if you are curious about like dating, online dating here in the Netherlands, just be vigilant. That's <laughs> so what one of the people that I know you attract what you are so if you just want to have fun then you can you can attract a man who just want to have fun as well and but if you are a person who wants to have a serious thing then you can attract someone who wants to have a serious thing as well i will maybe create a vlog about dating dating but now we will focus on appearing first hard issue next is it really required to have an apostille in the netherlands yes apostilled PSA or birth certificate and then apostilled Senomar. and by the way if you will go here in the Netherlands don't forget to bring your diploma it's okay if you will not bring your transcript of records as, as long as you have your diploma because you will be needing that if you want to continue to another country estimated expenses before I went to the Netherlands, maybe 30,000 for everything because I stayed in Manila for more than a month and I was the one who paid for my ticket from Jansan to Manila but your ticket from Manila to the Netherlands, your host family will pay for that but for your allowance in Manila, you have to shoulder everything. Next, how to apply? 
as an au pair. So you have to first search for legit agencies. So the legit agencies that I am familiar at the moment are Happy Au Pair, Sunshine Au Pair, Family Au Pair, Nani Nina. You have to search on Google or Facebook. Do they have Facebook? Complete Au Pair, Au Pair for All. But Au Pair for All, they are just lo looking for a woman who is already in outside Philippines. Yeah. yeah. And after that, just send everything that they require you to send and then wait for the reply and you will know the rest of the processes. Next, is Denmark open for au pairs? Yes, Denmark is open for au pairs, but most of the families in Denmark want to have an au pair who is already in your room. Next, yes, when I applied as an au pair here in the Netherlands, I came from the Philippines, so I processed everything in the Philippines. Is it okay if you want to be an au pair even though you are not a college graduate? Yes, I've heard that there was this au pair she was not able to graduate in college with a college degree but she was an au pair in the netherlands and now in other country so just try if you can speak and you can write and you can understand english yeah it's just the communication that matters and your personality just try so was there a registration fee for au pairs no, in Happy Au Pair, there's no registration fee. Yes, is it really covered by the host family, the expenses overall? Overall, no, of course. As what I've said, your allowance in, in Manila, you will shoulder that, your ticket from your province, your plane ticket. But in going here in the Netherlands, of course, your family, your host family will pay for that. Oh yeah, this question is interesting. I just want to ask how long how long it take for your interview sa inyo to get your visa po. The interview in embassy was just 5 or 6 minutes. It was nerve-wracking, but if you know yourself, your host family, your agency, then it's just yeah, it's fine. <laughs> During the embassy interview, if they will ask about your profession and you are not able to really graduate in a college with a college degree, just be honest. Just tell them that you you don't have a degree, and that's fine. That's fine. Next, if you are married but no child and you're 27, is it allowed? Base again, base here. It should be single with with no child. But just try because I've heard that someone tried and just try. <laughs> just send, okay? Just try. Okay, this one. I will shout out. Ronaline Santos. I appreciate that, that she really sent an email. These are her questions. Do they want someone with work experience? If yes, did they ask that's an interview? Your work is connected to kids, to children, they will ask. But if not, they will still ask about your work, why do you want to leave your work, so on and so forth. Yeah, but they are not looking for someone who has really like experience with kids because there are many uh, candidates from au pair agencies that are not teachers. But as long as you have experience with kids, with your nieces, children around you, blah, blah, blah. So. That's all. When you send an email for pre-qualifications, happy au pair, how many days you wait para may answer? Two to three days. But it depends. I don't know right now. Do they choose Serene physically? This is a nice question. <laughs> Do they choose Serene physically? I have pimple marks po. Look at me, I also have pimple marks. But I am an au pair, so it doesn't matter your physical appearance doesn't matter just try girl you can do it if we did it you can do it as well this is i think this is the last question if if you are done with your one year contract here in the netherlands is it really required to go back to the philippines or to your country or is it okay to look for another host family yes of course you have your free will to choose 
what path do you want to take after your one year here in the Netherlands? You can either choose between going back to the Philippines, you will proceed your operating life, and it's nicer if after your six months stay here in the Netherlands, you will look for a new host family if you wanted to do that. It's easier to do that, but your host family, your agency cannot really force you to go back to your country if you want to proceed as an au pair. You have your free will. And yeah, that's all. Thank you so much for all my friends who sent me their questions, who commented on my YouTube channel, who messaged me on Facebook. And I'm really sorry that my reply is way too late, but uh, I hope you appreciate that I made this video for you. And again, thank you so much for watching my vlogs. Thank you for supporting me. I would really appreciate it if you were like and you will subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos to come. And I'm so happy that we are growing here on my YouTube channel. Thank you again. Stay safe. Doing.